In today's video, we are going to show you how to add kids on your server. First things first, you would need to install the plugin from stormonarchy.com, which will be linked in the description below. Over there, hit download. Once you do that, you will get a zipped file and make sure that you extract it. In this file, you will have two folders, plugins, and libraries. Then make sure to navigate to your server files, go servers, unturned, rocket, and then plugins drag and drop the kids.dll file into the plugins page on your server. This plugin doesn't have any library, so no need to put anything in the libraries folder. After that, make sure you restart the server and head on to the server. As you may see, even in the rocket plugins, kits is already showing. Alright, so now that we're on the server, let's create some kits. So to create a kit, you would need to spawn in the items, and for the first kit, let's do kit starter. For this, we're going to spawn in canned beans and the camp packs. So make sure to spawn in the items that you would like. It is important to note that whatever you have in your inventory will be saved as the kit, so if you have other stuff that you do not want, you can just drop them on the floor. After that, we're going to add the cooldown of 30 seconds. You can add price, experience, and vehicle as an optional. So if you're not putting anything in it, just put zero. So to... So after you spawn everything in, make sure to do slash C kit and then the name of the kit which is going to be starter for us and then we're not going to have any XP so we'll just put zero and then we're not going to have any price and just put zero and you can just leave everything completely zero as well. Now let's create an XP kit. So first things first is we need to drop everything and let's do slash C kit XP and we're going to put in 30 for a 30 second cooldown and then we're going to put 0 because we're not going to have any price and then the amount of XP which is going to be 500 for us. So every time we do slash kit XP we're going to get 500 XP with 30 second cooldown. Next let's recreate a vehicle kit. For this you type in slash C kit name of the kit which in this case will be car and a cooldown of 100 seconds. Price and XP is 0, so we just put in 0, and we'll put in a vehicle ID, which is 4. So every time you do kit, car, you'll get yourself the vehicle ID 4. Some other commands that can be used are slash delete kit, which for this is slash D kit, and then for example you want to delete kit car, you just do slash D kit car. To view all of the kits, all you have to do is just type in slash kits, and if you are an admin or have the permission to give a kit to someone else, the command to give somebody else a kit is slash kit, kit name, so for example starter, and the player name. So for example, we'll just give it to myself, and I gave myself the kit starter. Next, let's go over to permissions. For this, you would need to navigate to servers, unturned, rocket, and permissions.config. For the default kit permissions, you can just go to restore monarchy back and copy and paste the first two permissions. These are all permissions that should be enabled for everybody. And then after that, all you have to do is just do the kits that you would like to add. So for example, if we want to add the kit starter for everybody, all you have to do is just type permission cooldown and then put the kit name in there and everybody will be having this. Make sure that you put them always in the default ID. If we want to have ourselves the kit XP as well for everybody, just type in permission cooldown kit.xp and close the tag. After that, make sure to save and restart the server. Once the server has restarted, let's go check to see if everybody has permission. So currently we are admin though, so let's just unadmin ourselves. And if we do slash kits, all of the kits should show up. And there they are. Kit starter and kit XP are working as well. Let's check kit XP. And we currently also have a 30 second cooldown, so the cooldown is also working. So let's just wait the 30 seconds to see if kit XP is also working. And kit XP is working as well. Next, let's go over to the configuration of the plugin. So for that, we would need to go to servers, unturned, rocket, plugins, kits, and over here, you can do the configuration and the translation. So the configuration over here, we can change stuff when it comes to the color, the icon, and the global cooldown. If you would like the global cooldown to be disabled, just put in zero. Next, we also have the translation. So the translation is basically when the kit sends a message. So for example, if the kit is not found, the command will return this value. So if you would like to change it, for example, this kit doesn't exist. Every time somebody puts in a kit that the kit does not exist, this message will be sent. Make sure to save to whatever you're wanting to change and next let's go over to kids.xml Basically this xml file is where you put in all of the items that you would like to change So for example if we would like to change the kit name to start We can just do that and if we want to add the cooldown make sure to add the cooldown from here And if you also want to add items in it you can just add items from here 
I do recommend that you do this all from in-game though, but you can also see the full database over here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below or join the Discord, which will be linked in the description below.